right, so we are back in the warm-up arena and uh, we managed to succeed in finding um, no other than Captain Michael Kelly. Thank you so much for participating here. No problem. You just uh, done your job in, inside the arena? Yeah, the light is uh, it's a fantastic show here and I came the first night he was clear. Uh, last night he was sixth in the ranking class and he's clear in the, in the first round of the Grand Prix. So really looking forward to the jump off. He's my best horse by a long way. And uh, he actually he jumped very well, so I'm, I'm very, very happy with him. Yeah. Ah, great. So you're clear for the jump, all, jump off already? Yeah. Uh, like, my, my horse, sometimes if I go fast, it's a little bit difficult for me, but I'm going to really have a go tonight. You're going to have a go. Yeah. The spectators will be happy to see uh, you give all you have. Well, the, 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 support, the spectators here and, the, and the, the general public are very enthusiastic about the job, so it's good because, you know, it, it's nice for riders to come to shows like this and uh, for, the, for the audience to be enjoying it as much as we do. I don't know how it is for you, uh, but I have a feeling that, uh, that the audience kind of like to um, cheer more on you guys uh, you know you're easy recognizable with your uniforms uh, so even if you're just you know maybe um, not that you know into the the elite of, of, the, of the sport you always can recognize uh, your team your, your yeah. uh, the Irish uh, military yeah it, there's pros and cons to wearing the uniform you know like if you have a good round everybody recognizes and remembers but they also remember the bad rounds you have because you know you're you're easily uh, you're easily noticed within the, the competitors but it's look it's a fantastic opportunity for, for me when I was a young guy to get into the Army Equitation School. Uh, it has amazing history, it's been a fantastic organisation through the years, has some, uh, has had some amazing riders like Jerry Mullins and John Lenningham and also Shane Carey who was in Denmark, you know, based in Sweden, he, he rode with me as well and you know I, I, I've been very lucky to carry on that tradition and hopefully I'm doing it justice. I'm sure you will. You are ready for the jump off. Um, how do you prepare? Um, what, what's your game plan from, from now on? Will, will you let us in on that secret? <laughs> well, it's a bit like everything, you know. Uh, because these indoor shows, you know exactly when it's starting, so that's a big help. Mm -hmm. uh, eight o'clock it starts, so the horse can go back, he can rest up. Uh, my guys can have a look after him, we can take the tack off, give him a breather, give him a little walk, freshen him up a bit, and then we'll come back and uh, about 20, 20 to 8, uh, we'll get back up on him. And, have a look at the, the course plan for the jump off, see maybe where you can be a bit quicker than some horses. My horse has a massive stride, so I have to keep that in mind where other guys can leave out strides. I can't really do that, but my guy is very fast turning. So, you know, hopefully that's where, it's a bit like everything, you know, horses for courses and you have to design your own plan. Like everybody's not going to go the same in the jump off. So maybe I'll find somewhere that nobody else can think that there's a turn back here or I can mm -hmm. try something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know already which number you'll be in? I think I'm number five. In number the five. So, so will you will you manage to have a look? What do you it's do? It's a bit like everything. Uh, you probably watch the first rider yeah, and see yeah. what they're doing, and then because there's only three more, then after the first exactly. rider goes, you have to forget all about it yeah, and yeah. just concentrate on what yeah. you're going to do yourself. Do you uh, cooperate with with, with your, uh, your trainer, your chef, uh, the keep uh, about um, uh, decisions? Yeah, uh, for sure. Like he's so he's on the ground and telling you well. It seems like you could go inside or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like what, what he'll do is he'll keep an eye on me here in the warm up. Also, he'll keep an eye on what they're doing in, inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, I might ask him a question, or he said to me, you know, if you try that, you're going to be quicker, and your horse can definitely do that, or your horse can't do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we kind of work as a team. We're very, I'm very lucky that way that there's fantastic support behind me. That uh, you know, we're all trying to help each other and, and do the best for the Army Equitation School. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Any concerns? Absolutely none. None. Uh, that's <laughs> the way it's supposed to be, yeah, right? Uh, yeah. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much for lending us your time and energy. Yeah, it's a pleasure talking Thank to you. you. Thank you very much. Cool. Cheers. Thank you. Super. Okay. No problem. Yeah.